Greetings YouTube, time for another bargain video. I know these seem like they're coming fast and furious, but I make them like every two weeks. I just don't upload them every two weeks. Um, so here we go with the annotated Dracula that is for a coworker who is a fan of vampires. Um, then we have Ghost Photos, the paranormal caught on film, which is a, going to be a Christmas gift for a friend of ours who is into the paranormal and a fan of ghosts. We have a book of about print making, print making, history, and process, which I will probably read and then donate because it, I don't think I need a full-time reference for print making, but I am fascinated with the, uh, the the art form itself. The Book of Knowledge Annual 1947. Uh, this I picked up partly for the cover because the cover is really, really pretty. Um, but the the and the interior um, information is is intriguing to me, so I'm going to give that a read. Um, the way things work, the illustrated and illustrated encyclopedia of technology, and this is some older stuff. For example, they have like railroad switching information in here for that, which, which was intriguing to me. And I got that for nothing at a yard sale. It was in a free box. Here we have the fear brokers peddling the hate politics of the new right and this was written in 1979 so I think it's going to be interesting to kind of get a historical perspective on how the fear mongering of the particular era compares to today and again I got that for nothing from a yard sale we have two William rather two Leonard Nimoy poetry books neither of which I had heard of I actually own some Leonard Nimoy poetry I am a fan of his of his of his uh, writing um, and these also have pictures taken by the author and this one has inside it was an estate sale and this is the actual handwriting of the woman who lived there and a poem that she herself was writing which makes me smile and is melancholy all at the same time because she's no longer with us that's why they're having the estate sale um, but I got these for nothing as well from the same free pile um, we have a Tori Amos concert DVD. My wife is a fan. The Stepford Wives, the special collector's edition. I haven't seen this movie in ages, and it has a commentary track. Uh, the Living Sea by John uh, Stoneman, which is a documentary episodes about the ocean. Um, Capote um, with uh, Hoffman. My wife is a fan of Hoffman, and it has a commentary track. Um, from Paris with Love, which has John Travolta, who is such an absolute over-the-top actor that I had to see this, and I picked it up for a buck. Um, then we have Caroline, which, amazingly enough, we didn't have in our collection. We couldn't believe that, but we didn't. Um, and this is a great movie. We, ha we have to definitely watch this again soon. Um, but I get that for a dollar at a yard sale, so, you know, can't lose there. Um, then we have Romancing the Stone and Jewel of the Nile, neither of which I th have seen in a very long time. Um, we didn't have in our collection. Um, then we have two bootlegs. I knew there were bootlegs when I bought them, and they were, in fact, bootlegs. Um, this one was filmed in the theater, so it's not the greatest quality, um, which is completely appropriate because it's a really horrible film. Um, then we have uh, Two Guns with Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg, which is an actual copy of the DVD because all the content is present. Um, and it was actually quite entertaining. Uh, it was a pretty decent cop uh, buddy movie. And then we have these weird Knox unflavored gelatin recipe cards. And they're, they got little pictures on them, and they give a recipe. And just, apparently the woman collected these things, and they were, just, they were th going to throw these out. And I'm like, i got to show my wife this. Even if we donate them, i got to show my wife this. Um, they just made me smile. And some of the food things are just, it's American, man. It's so heavy. Um, and we have two cards, um, one with an image from the New Hampshire seacoast and one with the, the Maine seacoast, which my wife likes to send cards out, and I got those for uh, like a buck a piece at a thrift shop. Um, so, on to the next section. Okay, um, I picked this up as a dedicated drill for a drill press that I owned, past tense. I owned a Thor drill press that you put a drill in and use it as a drill press. Then I found this one at a yard sale for $2. It's a Sears model that'll handle a larger drill. So I could probably get my half inch drill in here now, but I will probably still mount the three eighths in here and leave it in there and see if I like it. And if that way, if I do like it and it does what I need it to do, I will 
keep it there full time. Now the reason I got this one as opposed to the other one is this one has a secondary uh, shelf so that it has a V-channel built into it and this would allow me to clamp items that ha when I, that, that I want to drill which is a, gr a, a greater degree of safety. It has larger channels if I want to bolt something down onto this. It's got proper feet which I can use uh, to bolt to a table. Um, it's got uh, overall bigger heavier build so it's gonna be more stable it's just a better quality item and it is from Sears so it's got a warranty behind it though I don't know how the heck I would actually cash in a warranty on this item because I am sure that it hasn't been made in a very long time and it came with directions I was stunned to see that this, this thing actually came with an owner's manual that that you never find that at yard sales but and especially for a two dollar item and it's in good shape so I gave my other one away to my neighbor across the street. Um, he does uh, tricycle racing, like adult size trikes, like Hot Wheels, but for big people. Um, and he does all kinds of stunt work and stuff, so yeah, I figured he could probably use it. Um, then we, oh, I forgot this. I have a Peerless Faucet, which I picked up for eight bucks at a yard sale. We'll be looking for another one. And for eight bucks, I'll try this one, see if I like it. Um, and it's. Got, probably got to be better than what I've got right now because what I got right now came with the house and it's not in the greatest shape. Um, here we have a Norton, uh, whoops, sorry, a Norton um, sanding pad, which are good quality. I got that for, I think, 50 cents at a, at a in state sale. Um, we have a fly pole bracket, which I paid $2 for, and it's, it's new, never in, never been taken out of the package from what I can tell. Um, so we can hang up banners or stuff off our porch, which I think would be kind of cool. Seasonal stuff, probably. Um, I have a party light, which I paid five bucks for, which I, it, this rotates and it's got LEDs in it. So it's supposed to like be all wild and wacky and stuff for five bucks. I thought I'd give it a try. It made me smile when I saw it. Um, it was on discount because the packaging is broken. All right, whatever. Um, here we have a real live grappling hook. Yep. That's a grappling hook. I got it for two bucks at a thrift shop. It is too light to use for climbing. However, you could use this, and what I plan on using this for, is if I need to get something down from the tree or from my roof, something like that, I can probably use this. Um, and if you really wanted to, you could use this as an impromptu tripping weapon. If you had set skill, which I don't possess, but you could. A uh, tube of liquid nails, because liquid nails is always handy. You own a, you own, when you do projects and own home and stuff like that, liquid nails is a lifesaver. Then we have a Fury Spike, which I picked up for seven bucks at a flea market to add to my knife collection. We have some Diamond Hones, the Easy Lap Diamond, sh uh, Diamond Sharp. Um, and these are, what grits are these? Medium, fine, and super fine. So, get that for $2. The same place I got the drill stand one at. Um, then we have a wind meter, which is really, really sensitive. Really, really sensitive. And my ceiling fan produces 2.4 mile per hour wind. That made me smile. Um, my wife does outdoorsy stuff, and this may have be useful to her, and I paid a dollar for it. Um, we have a pen here, which is a pen. A contact stylus, not capacitive, but contact stylus, and it's got an LED flashlight, laser, and UV light. How can I pass up on that? If you know me, that was awesome. We have a small webcam, which is for I picked up for a project I hopefully will be working on in the near future. Um, a really sharp pair of needle dose pliers. I really quite like that design, that step down design. I'm gonna really be getting into tight places. I like that. I got that for a like a dollar. I got this weird screwdriver. You close it up and use it like a screwdriver, normal screwdriver, but then you can open it up and it gives you extra torque. And it's called Tuffy. I'd never seen this style. It's an aluminum handle. I don't think I've ever seen an aluminum handled screwdriver before. The tip needs a little bit of touch up, but I've got files, so you know, that's not a problem. Then we have a kitchen utensil. Um, which is kind of a spatula spoon combo because it's got a scoop in there kind of thing for like a pan or something and it's made out of some strange really dense heavy wood with this interesting pattern to it i know nothing about wood if anybody can tell me what the heck this is that would be awesome 
but it has a great feel to it. Um, and I've been trying to eliminate some of the crappy pine spoons and utensils we have in the house and upgrade to better quality wood utensils just because I like wood and I like using good stuff and I have an appreciation for good quality wood. Um, on to more things. Here we have some large items that are just going to take up this lot of my table all at once. We have a sign that my wife found him using free beer here tomorrow only. Um, but that'll probably go on our porch. Um, then two posts, two signs. These are all tin signs that she said plans on taking to work. You must be the change you wish to see in the world and take your place, make your mark, live your life. Two of these are from Michael's, originally for like 13 bucks a pop. I'm figuring that one was probably about the same. We got them for five. Um, they, I think they're new. I, mean, I don't think the person who bought them ever used them for anything. But here they are. So my wife's going to take two of them to work and one will go on my porch because it's funny. We have a tea towel. Um, the funny thing is, when I picked this up on the, at the at a flea market, I said, I looked at it. I like the pattern. My wife likes owls, and you can always use a tea towel in the kitchen. And uh, I said, how much do you want? She said, a buck. I said, I said okay, I'll pay for it. I'll take, take it for a buck. I said, you're for my first purchase today. She said, he said, like a dozen people have looked at that. He said, but no one's asked me how much it costs. I said, well, there you go. Um, some Oddly, some tissue paper. You know, this is, that probably sounds weird, but this type of tissue paper is incredibly useful when you're making, when you want to package gifts up. I don't like wrapping gifts, but if I have to wrap a gift, I like to make it unusual so I can, um, so I can put a layer of tissue paper under wrapping paper, or I can just wrap it in tissue paper. Um, or better yet, you use a gift bag and you just wrap the, the uh, gift in tissue paper and stick it in the bag and you're good to go. Um, and uh, that was, I picked it up for a buck, so this is really handy stuff always keep it around the house um, then we have a bag with a gnome on it and the, the bag has the same pattern on both sides um, my wife has a thing for gnomes and she likes bags and it was it's it's a brand it's not a brand but i think it might be an artist let's see if i can yeah here it is spare goo or asparagus asparagus I'm not, I can't find it online. I looked. There's nothing referencing this. So it may be a very local artist that made this. I'm not sure. Um, then we have a giant spider that is from the Smithsonian Institute line by Safari Limited. Um, that's for my nephews. Um, we have a tiki style figure. This could be agate. I'm not 100% sure. My ex would know. He's really good with stone. Um, um, but we have a little collection of these kind of things. We have a little collection of all kinds of things. Yes, I know. We, we have a lot of things. Um, two giant dice from Las Vegas. I think I may send these to my nephews because they're big, chunky dice. Good, good tactile um, dice for kids. Then we have some bells. And this one has uh, stork and lions on it, which I thought was kind of interesting. And it also has a nice tone. Um, a bell has to have a decent tone as well as being interesting for me to be interested in it and my wife be interested in it. And this one says happy days, which is the most generic celebration bell I have ever heard of. Just happy days, no specific holiday, just woohoo. And then we have this, and we have a number of figure bells in our collection. This one isn't this could be maybe be vintage. I'm not positive how old this thing is, uh, but we don't have a, a, a solo girl figure, and uh, it's also yeah. My camera probably can't pick that up, but it has the most lovely tone. It's just wonderfully clear ring. Now I have a couple of fabric items which I I would have put into this section, but they just won't fit on the table. Um, so that's coming up next. Here we have a wool angora rabbit hair sweater. We picked that up for um, I think two dollars at a yard sale. My wife's a big fan of uh, sweaters, and it has a really nice feel to it. It's very soft, very soft. And then I saved the best for last, folks. <laughs> this is a handmade octopus hoodie, an angry octopus, Arr, angry octopus, with tentacles, with suckers <laughs> that you wear on your head. Expect to see that in some upcoming video.